My friends, are you looking to enter into the world of custom water cooling? Well, our friends over at EK sent us their newest cooling kit that makes sure that you're saving a lot of money while also making sure that your system is water cooled and looks fly. So we're gonna review this and check it out after I tell you about today's video sponsor, which is Wix. Wix is an online platform that allows you to create professional looking websites and they're sponsoring today's video. If you go to the link in the video description, wix.com forward slash go forward slash UFD tech, you can check them out. We'll be talking about them more at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. With that being said, let's go ahead and move on in to actually checking out their classic RGB S240 water cooling kit. So one of the interesting things about this is just the actual price of everything that you get inside. This is comprised of things that you can actually buy on EK's website, but at a discount because you're buying it in the, the kit. So you get the Supremacy Classic RGB CPU block, you get the Coolstream SE240 radiator, you get the X-Res 140 SPC PWM Classic pump, you get two of their 120 Vardar fans, the RGB kind, you get uh, two meters of tubing, soft tubing, so, this is just uh, for, for ease of access. You get uh, clear concentrate for the crowd fuel, and then you get a bunch of other accessories. When you add up everything that EK has put into this package and you bought it separately, you're looking at $340 to $350. But the good news is that the classic RGB S240 comes in at $270. That is a $70 savings on something that will allow you to custom liquid cool your PC pretty gosh dang easily. So let me go ahead and get everything on out of here and show you what we got. So this is actually an RGB upgrade from other water cooling kits that EK had with a little bit of a price increase because of the RGB. And also they have four different models that you can look to pick up. We got the SET240, which is based on their slim radiators and is obviously 240 millimeters. They also have an SE360 and then PE240 and PE260 kits, which the PE is their midsize radiators. You can see that uh, S, E, P, E, X, E is how they measure their 120 mil radiators. So what we have here is everything that we need to at least water cool our CPU. But the best thing about this kit is that it's gonna be expandable for all of your needs because I mean, it's just basically an actual water cooling kit. So it comes with the Supremacy Classic RGB CPU block, which is typically mounted for Intel, at least in this box. So you can do both LGA 1150 and 1151, typical mainstream Intel desktop platforms, as well as high-end desktop. And then it also has an AM4 bracket in case you wanna water cool your Ryzen. So it's a technically universal all in one. And there we go. There we have the RGB block as well as the thermal paste that's included. Then let's open the pump. There we go. There's the RGB pump the one with the little stand, but they also include this universal holder spider, which can fit on to 120 millimeter fan brackets. So you just like slap it onto your fan section and then you can mount the pump or you can just put it on the floor since it has feet. Then here, the two EK120 RGB fans. Okay, there we go. So two of those is what we have. Then you also have an RGB splitter cable, which will allow you to actually get the RGB on the fans, the pump, the res, everything that you're gonna have RGB. The radiator, for obvious reasons, doesn't have RGB on it, but there we go. There's the slim 240. So that's essentially everything, the two meters of tubing. So you'll have to cut this yourself and then make sure that uh, everything's lined up. But they do include all of the fittings that you're gonna need. You have six fittings, two for the pump, two for the rad, and then two for the CPU block. So we're actually gonna test this out, but we're gonna be doing a comparison to the long, uh, the, the prodigal son, our shroud PC build, which in case you don't remember, is a weird setup where Shroud only water cools his CPU block with a 240 and a 360 millimeter radiator. And so we have a 9900K on here. We're gonna overclock it to its best setting, which I believe our chip can do 5.2. We're gonna overclock it to 5.2 gigahertz. And then we're gonna do a temperature comparison between this custom loop that Shroud has versus the uh, actual loop from the classic RGB S240 kit. And considering that this costs a lot more than the S240 kit, I'm kind of intrigued to see what the results are gonna be like. So let's check it out. Okay, so we did all of the testing with the previous configuration for the shroud build. And as you can see 
on the screen right now, what we had was our 9900K running at 5.1 gigahertz, and we had it at 1.325 volts. So nothing too intense, but it did draw about 150 watts. And as you can see, the temperatures were no more than like 85 degrees at peak. So everything was mostly contained. And now we're gonna try to see if we can tame this 9900K beast with the kit that EK sent over. So I've already got the CPU block mounted. Um, it's the same mounting as the other one. It's just that this one could also be set up for AM4 if you include the bracket. And one of the things that I mentioned earlier was how it is customizable. So let's say you happen to have a 2080 Ti lying around that has a water block on it. You can simply just add this into the loop. You just put an extra fitting on here and then you add it in. But for today's reasons and purposes, we're just gonna be doing the CPU because I don't wanna add a, nine, a 2080 Ti into the whole configuration. So I'm gonna get this pump set up. We're gonna have it external. I mean, this is mostly an open air case anyway, so not having everything set up is fine. It'll be roughly the same testing configuration. And then you can cut the tubing to however long you need for your case, but we're gonna do it in the most strange way that we possibly can. Also, you can configure it however you want. We have a splitter here so that I have a drain valve when I'm done with everything. So I can actually drain the entire loop. Okay, so we have the temporary loop set up. We've got the pump to the CPU block, CPU block to the radiator, radiator back to the pump. And then I use my splitter valve to just kind of give myself a way to drain it because it's a temporary solution as you can see. And then also included in the kit is this motherboard jumper, which allows you to run the pump without actually turning on the motherboard, which is great. Um, so all you have to do is flick the switch on and then technically it'll run. But with the way I have it set up, I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, as I mentioned, they do have the clear concentrate that you can put for putting fluid in here. And then I believe a dye pack is an extra $16. So you can configure whatever color you want, but we already have the acid green set up in the shroud build. So I thought it only fair for us to do a colored uh, loop here. So we got our navy blue premix, which we just happen to have on hand, which is also, we also happen to have the splitter in the drain ball valve on hand as well. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and load up the reservoir and we're gonna turn it on and everything should run. This actually looks kind of good. I like this navy blue. Probably add just a little bit more, but I don't need to have the res filled up all the way. And then we have all of the RGB turned on because I have it hooked up to the splitter cable right here. Obviously this would look better if you have it in a system, but you can see the CPU block is syncing up with the motherboard. All of the colors are the same as the chipset cover right here. We have CPU block, you got the pump, which is lighting up. And then we obviously have the Vardar fans, which are RGB as well. So that's all really great and all basically set up. So let's close this so I don't accidentally knock it over. And then let's get to some temperature testing, shall we? 5.1 gigahertz, 1.325 volts. Let's see what this does. Okay, we have it set up. Um, fun fact, everybody can make mistakes. I made the newbiest of all mistakes. Easy to fix though when I saw that it was hitting 100 degrees Celsius at normal settings. Okay, well, now we have it set up. We've got the same test that we're gonna be doing. As you can see on the screen right now, we have the 9900K at 5.1 gigahertz, 1.325 volts, more or less. We're gonna start the Ida64 stress test. We're gonna let that run for a good 15 minutes, and then we're gonna come back to it and see what the temperature is like and compare it to the original I mean, overkill system that we had for the CPU loop. So let's go ahead and start this puppy. Okay, we finished testing on the classic S240 RGB kit and it did pretty admirably considering that we were running a 9900K at like 190 watts of power consumption. Um, mostly it averaged around 90 degrees Celsius as you can see on the screen right now, it peaked at 97. So it can definitely handle it, but if you're using this in an enclosed system, I'd recommend either going with their PE240 or potentially one of the 360 millimeter radiators when it comes to overclocking a 9900K. But if you're using anything less than this thermonuclear device, you should be totally fine with the, at least what is the lowest end kit that EK actually offers. This thing has performed fantastically. $270, you get everything that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. You get all of these different little accessories, such as the thing to start your power supply. You get fan splitters, RGB splitters, you get all of the fittings. Everything is seamless and set up for you, and it's at a 70 plus dollar discount from what it would 
be if you were just buying it yourself, which means that you have more money for other things like a GPU block or higher end motherboard or something of the sort. It's fully expandable, then you're able to do whatever you want with it, but it comes in one kit so that you don't have to look around for what you want to do, but rather it's all there for you. And I mean, the RGB just looks freaking good. So I think EK has a real winner on their hands here, considering the price, considering that they are offering a substantial discount over buying all of the components separately. And then it does really well with the hottest of consumer chips. If you're probably going for something like a 9980XE, then I definitely recommend you getting the PE360 rather than something in their slim region. But Overall, this thing has impressed me a lot and uh, I'm gonna wrap it up there and let's talk about today's video sponsor, my friends, Wix. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Wix is an online platform that allows you to create professional looking websites in a seamless fashion. You just go onto the website, you can use our link in the video description and get started for whatever you're trying to build a website for, whether it be showcasing your portfolio or starting an online store. They have all of the tools that you're gonna need to be able to do that. You can set up storefronts, you can set up a contact us page, you can make sure that everything you want on your website is there. We're trying to create a website for our company to make sure that we're representing ourselves in the best way possible. And with Wix, we can get that done in no time at all. And in a way that just looks good, both on desktop as well as on mobile, you can make sure that everything is looking fine. You can switch between desktop mode and mobile mode so that you can see what your website's going to look like to the people who consume it wherever they are in the world. And as I mentioned, gorgeous websites with everything that you could possibly need, including storefronts to make sure that you're representing whatever it is you're putting out on the internet in the best way possible. So again, you can use the link in the video description, wix.com forward slash go forward slash UFD tech to get started on building your own professional website today. And that's where I'm gonna end this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed us checking, taking a look at this EK water cooling kit. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. And let us know if you want us to do more water cooling content on the channel. And with that, I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.